Hey guys, here we are again to respond to the questions you posted on some of our DNews videos. What's up guys, I'm Anthony. I'm Lacey. And I'm Trace. And you guys have left some very interesting comments lately. Uh, first of all, we did this video about bacteria changing your personality, mm. which yeah. I love. Yeah, that is awesome. I love the idea of these little microbes changing who you are all the time. And Shrinks330 said, I would be all for finding out how altering microbial flora can help anxiety and depression, yeah. which is something that we touched on at the end of the video because a lot of those medications have not fun side effects and it'd be interesting to see if this method would be a better way of helping without such negative side effects. It seems from, from the research that's been done like it could be possible. Yeah, I definitely think anything that's going to eliminate badness in <laughs> your treatment for any, any issue. Well, the problem is like pharmaceuticals that treat personality issues are so, it's like using a shotgun instead of a rifle. Yeah, you know? right, it's really right. precise. It, it would be nice if we could say like, oh, well if we adjust this internal thing by maybe changing your diet or adding some kind of herb or you know, who knows why or how, but something that wasn't just like, we're gonna have a pill that changes your brain chemistry, fix yeah, it. Totally, and we've seen more and more as, as we do more videos how much this uh, bacteria stuff really helps because we did the thing about babies yeah. sharing bacteria mm -hmm. and families sharing bacteria and how it changes personality. So this could be a very easy and cheap and healthy way to do that. There were also a lot of comments on our Ladies Love Beards video oh. saying that they prefer their men clean shaven. Thank oh, you. Come on. Thank you, ladies. That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, I'm ladies. So, no. You know, but this is what I said when I was talking to Kristen. I feel like I did not notice when I had a beard more women being attracted to me as much as it was just different types. Different people yeah. are into different I things. Think that's a good point. Honestly, that's a really good point. It's super subjective. It's like everyone has their own preferences and they change. Like maybe a few years ago I had one preference and now it's a little different. I mean, I had a goatee for 10 years and then I went yeah. to this Ten kind years. of half beard thing. Mm -hmm. I like it. And the ladies Are really you about the enjoy this better. Is this 10 days? This is, yeah, probably. It's about 10 yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> Scientifically optimal. So the ladies like this better, yeah, or so, so I understand. <laughs> On the new Music Feels Amazing segment, Beck Boops, among a lot of other people, asked, so what if you have a song that grows on you? Because, you know, some of your favorite songs, it's true. You, don't you didn't start like out it first, it. and then you listen to it all the time, and now you love it. So right. I was thinking like Bieber, or like Britney. Or like Nickelback. <laughs> so pop songs. Like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm pop kidding. songs You're are written no, in such a way where they're supposed to like be earworms. They're supposed to yeah. like get in there over time That's and just. That's true. They're they're kind of like mathematically perfect. Yeah. For for just getting in your head more repetition. I feel like TV shows are the same way. That's Commercial true. jingles. Yeah. They like you hate it at first and then it kind of gets in there and someone says you have like to hear the brand it a few name. Times. And, and it's gone, and you're just gone. The thing I was thinking too is maybe it becomes, it's not the song, but it's maybe memories you connect with that song. So it's like, yeah. yes. you may have hated it the first time you heard it, like, I don't know, I remember Britney Spears' Toxic, didn't like the first time I heard it. But then I heard it on some road trip where the road trip was really fun, so now I associate it yeah. with that Or fun. also if the lyrics, if it's about the lyrics, like mm -hmm. you start to process, if it's written really well, mm -hmm. and you realize, wow, they're like saying some stuff in this, <laughs> yeah. you know, and you kind of get into what the song's all about. Sure. Right. Uh, uh, Becca Stachowicz, oh Becca, I'm sorry. I'm so, I just don't know. Um, <laughs> commented, uh, sentient power grid controllers. So this is the thing about uh, growing a brain in a lab to control power plants. And she's asking, why not just improve efficiency by going solar nationwide? Has it really gotten to the point that alternative green technologies are so under the radar that scientists have decided using living brain tissue as a solution to our efficiency problems? You know, I see this a lot on videos that we do, and, and something that I want to say is, just because one, we're reporting on one team that's doing one thing, doesn't mean everybody else has stopped the other stuff. These guys <laughs> yeah, are yeah. building a brain in a lab, but that doesn't mean we're not still working on solar power. Everyone stop the science. <laughs> we're gonna look at one thing This right is now. the science now <laughs> that we do. <laughs> Although, if you know, if you point at every scientist in America at making brains control like a power plant. I bet that would happen It would so happen fast. pretty fast, wouldn't there you is, think? There yeah. is something to be said about that because I think in the academic community and the scientific community, it's like, your project has to be different enough to get you money. Yeah. yeah. So you can True. keep doing it. So everybody's right. trying to do all these different things. things. If we could just point at everybody and be like, no, 
for five years, <laughs> we're gonna make solar cells better. Go. It's like, oh, all right. Well, yep. I guess we're pretty doing that. They would be some, some pretty sweet legit solar, solar cells. cells. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the best ones. So on my video, Why Loneliness Can Be Deadly, Chow Rianin shared, I'm lonely and I literally can't think of the last time someone genuinely wanted to hang out with me. Maybe you can make an advice video for younger people who are struggling with loneliness and self-isolation. I'm not sure what you mean by self-isolation, as in like imposing it on yourself, but really trying to find a community and find people that you feel comfortable and safe and like you can you, be, you can be yourself around them is the number one thing. I feel like a key phrase in that is, uh, it's been a long time since somebody genuinely wanted to hang out with me. And that sounds, that, that sounds very much to me like an internal feeling. Maybe find somebody like a guidance counselor, a teacher, mm -hmm. or, or somebody Someone that you, you can talk to. you can talk to. About the fact that you're having these feelings of like yeah. nobody wants to it, talk to you. It can become a cycle, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So you need someone to help you break out of it and you don't have to do it alone. So I would Absolutely. strongly encourage you to not do that We like alone. you. Yeah, we like you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it for this time around. Keep commenting on the videos, everyone. Keep tweeting at us. Send us messages via Facebook or Google Plus or, you know, Ouija boards. We get them. Every we, message the sent by a Ouija board. I am bad at do checking we? Facebook. <laughs> Why he but I am very <laughs> psychically linked to the other side. Uh, and once again, you guys, best audience ever. That's true. I, I genuinely mean it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for commenting all the time and, and giving such great feedback on all our stuff. And for your suggestions it. too. I mean, sometimes they end up making videos out of them. Mm -hmm. So Often. thanks a lot. Keep them coming.